I'm Dr. Peter Lewis, and I want to share my ideas about how to exercise for life. I call this paleo exercise. As a sports medicine doctor specializing in PRP and stem cell therapy, I spend most of my time treating people with arthritis and degenerative musculoskeletal injuries. Many of these conditions could have been avoided by a better choice of exercise and prevention is much better than treatment. In the 1970s, it was discovered that exercise can prevent heart disease. This led to a significant increase in physical activity in the community, jogging, aerobics, and gym junkies. Now the baby boomers are paying the price with osteoarthritis, the lower limbs, back, and rotator cuff injuries. Since 1977, I've been fascinated with the concept of eco-deviation, the idea that many modern diseases are caused by changes in our lifestyle from that of the hunter-gatherer from which we evolved. First, we started packaging our food so that it fits our busy lives, and now we have packaged our exercise, classically an hour of high-intensity, high-impact activity, three times per week. This is not natural. It depletes the immune system, making us more prone to infection, and causes an oxidative load on the body with the release of free radicals, which accelerates aging. With the development of the paleo diet, I was pleased to see many people returning to more natural food, and I think the same principle should be applied to fitness, or what I call paleo exercise. From my experience with sports injuries, I recommend exercising like hunter-gatherers, very often, many times a day. Get your heart rate up vigorously to your maximum optimal level, but only for a couple of minutes each time. This gives all the health benefits of aerobic exercise without the injuries, fatigue, and premature aging. High impact activity, which includes running, jumping, skipping and walking, puts excessive stress on the joints, contributing to arthritis, especially in joints which previously suffered meniscal or ligament damage. I believe that young people should be encouraged to engage in sustainable sports that they can continue throughout their lives. This includes riding bikes, scooters, yoga, swimming, pilates and going to the gym. I also advocate incidental exercise, which means walking instead of driving, taking the stairs instead of the lift, or sitting on a football rather than a chair. When running, walking, or at work, footwear is very important. We weren't designed to walk on concrete. I suggest runners or modern business shoes with a runner-type sole, plus shock-absorbing insoles, such as light feet. Thank you for watching this minute video. I would like to invite other GPs and doctors to contribute their ideas about how we can make our patients' lives better.